All right, let's start this video off with a bang. I am definitely team GIF, not GIF. And I love them. No matter how you pronounce them, I really think that these little clips of animation can really bring something special to your learning experience. I like having this in conference presentations at the end. And of course, I love dropping GIFs on social media. It really helps illustrate my points a little bit better. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make GIFs with TechSmith Snagit and how you can use these to up your next e-learning project. I recently did some research about instructional design tools mentioned in a sample of job postings. While the top two were e-learning authoring tools, Articulate Storyline and Adobe Captivate respectively, the tool that was in that third spot was TechSmith Camtasia. And this video is sponsored by TechSmith. TechSmith is an industry leader in screen recording and screen capture software. I regularly use two of their products, Camtasia and Snagit. I really appreciate them being kind enough to sponsor this video. And they have great resources to guide you on your instructional design journey that I refer people to all the time, including free courses via TechSmith Academy, shameless plug, templates for screen writing, templates for script writing, and now they have a certification program so you can demonstrate your skills to employers. I have links in the description or click the link in the card to get 10% off your next TechSmith purchase. Okay, let's look what I got set up here. So I have a sample course in Articulate Rise. And as you can see, you can actually set a GIF as a background. I know there is no one better on planet Earth to handle disasters than Nick Jonas, but your employer may disagree with this. But I just wanted to load this in to show you what you can do with it. And so where I'm going to take you next is a place I like to go to get video clips, and that's actually Canva. And Canva's really upped their video game. So if you need some nice clips in Canva, highly recommend checking out Canva. And I'm looking for a clip here. I really like the look of this tornado right here. And I think that that might be a good one to use in this Articulate Rise course. And so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm actually going to download um, this clip here. And I've already downloaded it here if I can find it. Isn't that like the worst? Like, you know, you download something, you can't find it. Okay, there we are. And so here I've brought it in to snag it. And I'm going to just uh, see what this looks like. If I want to go ahead and just make it a GIF and you actually just hit the button and you're good to go. However, look at the clip size. It's 13 seconds. So we'll see what this looks like. I'm a little hesitant. It very well could be a little out there, but let's just take a look. We're working out loud here, right? Okay, so I got the notification of that. All right. Eh, I mean, it's going, but it's also, like I said, a little bit, a little bit long. So I'm going to at least try it here. So to edit, what we're going to do is you just go to the settings on the Articulate Rise. And then where you go to cover photo, it supports GIFs. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace it. So I removed that. We're going to upload that GIF that we just made of the tornado and give it a moment here to load. Need some loading music right now. Okay, looks like it is loading up. Get rid of that. And then as you see here, it is already in the preview. Let's take a look and see what this looks like. So let's go here to preview. Ugh, a little bit sluggish, isn't it?
Yeah, I don't know how you all feel about that. I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it's just a little bit sluggish. I think we can do a better job with it. So let's go back in here to snag it. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to snip it to make it a little bit more action-packed. So let's take a look here. We don't want it this full length here. So how about we cut it here on the front to where it's already coming down. Okay, and then let's cut some of the length here as well. Yeah, let's cut this. And again, this is personal preference. We're just playing around here. All right. Yeah, let's cut the rest of that. Okay. So now we took it from 13 seconds down to six. Let's see if that makes a difference. So going ahead and doing that. Yep. It's creating the GIF for me. And the one thing I love about Snagit is you can actually just drag it onto your desktop. Beautiful. So got that dragged in there. Let's go ahead and replace the sluggish tornado with a more amped up one. So going back to settings, go back to your cover photo, removed it. Now we're going to upload our more powerful tornado. And this one hopefully should load a little bit faster than our last one did. Excellent. Let's take a look. So close that out and we're hitting preview. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a disaster. And then once you hit start, it is twisting around in the corner. So again, just a little something extra for an Articulate Rise course. I think that it really does add a nice little ambience to it. Again, I think this is a really simple way to beef up an Articulate Rise course. I know that a lot of people start in Articulate with Articulate Rise now, and it's just a nice way to make your stand out just a little bit more. So what do you think? Is this something that you are going to use next time you do an Articulate Rise course? How do you currently make gifts? If you don't have Texma snag it, I highly recommend it because see how easy that was? It was just a few clicks and we had had a gift. So I'd love to hear more in the comments below. How do you use gifts in e-learning? And is this something that you knew about or want to try? Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.